Okay, and so continuing on again today, building the Greek Parthenon. Today we're looking at theorem number nine, and that is that in a parallelogram, that the opposite sides are equal. So we can see here we have a parallelogram. So here that the opposite sides are equal, that this side here is equal to this side here. And uh, sorry, that this side here is equal to this side here. This side here is equal to this side here. And then that opposite angles are equal. So that angle D here is equal to the angle at B. And the angles here at A are equal to the angles at C. So that's what we're going to prove today. So here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're on to theorem 9. And it says in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal and opposite angles are equal. Okay, well, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to write down what we've been given. So here again, I've drawn a parallelogram. So the first thing we want to do is to label it. And then when we've labeled, we can write down what we've been given. Okay, and so the first thing we can see, well, from labeling the parallelogram A, B, C, and D, well, that's simply my statement here that I've been given a parallelogram A, B, C, D. Now, so in this theorem, you can see here that we clearly have two things that we have to prove. One, we have to prove that opposite sides are to equal. And so here I'm going to write that one down. And so examining that there, well, opposite sides, well, here AB is opposite to CD. So that's going to be one part uh, that we're going to say is equal. So A B, and we'll have it in capital letters, is equal to, um, to CD. So that's one part of opposite sides being equal. But equally, we're able to see here that, well, BC is opposite to the side AD. So it's, uh, we have to prove that both those sides are equal to each other. So that's the first part of our proof. The second part of our proof we're asked to show that opposite angles are equal. So here we'd be asked to show that the angle here at BAD is equal to the angle here, and that's at BCD. And likewise, the angle here at this one, which is ABC, is equal to this angle here, which is ADC. OK, so we're just going to write that down as well as part of our proof. OK, and so I have uh, written that one down here and um, that the two ang opposite angles are equal. So a angle ABC, which is this angle here, is equal to angle ADC, which is, of course, this angle here. And angle BAD, so BAD here, this angle is equal to angle BCD. So this angle here, OK? And in fact, just to make it easier for ourselves to remember, I've put those in different colours. But here I'm just going to underline these two angles in uh, red and mark those off. So this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here, OK? And I'll just put a little line through those so that they're equal. And then equally, I will do the same in green here. So angle BAD is, of course, this angle here, and I'll put two lines this time, is equal to angle BCD, and again, two lines. Okay, so that's um, our, that's our proof. Um, so we need to show now, we have basically two parts to the proof, so we're going to begin there. Now, in order to begin with that, uh, the first thing that we want to do, um, we want to construct a diagonal. Okay, so... We're going to construct a diagonal line from A to C. So that's the first step. OK, and so here in this um, step, so it's construction, draw a diagonal AC. So you can see I've joined A to C by drawing a diagonal line. And we're going to use that for both parts of our proofs. OK, for the two proofs that we have to do in this one. OK. OK, so away we go. Well, so the first thing I notice here now about my parallelogram, I have a nice Z shape. <clears throat> so that means basically I know that I have alternate angles when I have that Z shape. So I know that this angle here 
is equal to this angle here. So angle BCA, that's the first bit that I'm going to write down. Angle BCA is equal to angle CAD. And again, sticking in brackets after that, why? And that's because of alternate angles because of my Z shape. We also know, and maybe this is a bit of a, it's called stating the obvious, I suppose. But we also know that line AC is equal to line AC. And I suppose what we're trying to get onto here, you might have guessed it already, is that we're trying to prove that this triangle here is congruent to this triangle here. And that's going to prove both of those for us. And so by saying that they have a side in common, that's one of the um, criteria for congruent triangles. So we've already got one angle in common to both of them. Now we have a side in common to both of them. Uh, and again, we need to write down the reason for that, that AC is equal to AC. And well, that's just literally, it's a common side or it's a common line. Common side will do here. Okay, so the three criteria, I suppose, then for... Uh, congruent triangles is A, S, A. You don't need to write that bit down, but just for yourselves, I'll erase it in a moment. So we've already got the A, one common angle. Now we've the common side. So it's again about seeing what other common angles do we have. Well, again, we have our Z shape. So here is our Z shape. And this time, maybe if we reverse the Z, so here we can see this way. We have this angle here is going to be in common with this angle here. So again, maybe I will draw that in a different color. And so this time writing that out or calling out those angles, well then we have angle B A C is equal to angle A. C, D. Okay, so that's very important for us. And again, our reason for that is that it's alternate angles. So we'll write that down. Okay, so now we have shown that we have an angle in common, that we have a side in common, and that again, we have another angle in common. So that means basically that this triangle and this triangle, that they're congruent to each other. Um, and so we can write that down. And so now that I have shown or that we've shown that the two triangles are congruent, well, that shows exactly what we want. It shows that the opposite sides are equal. So the opposite side or one side in this triangle here is line AB. So that's the first thing I can say. Um, that because they're congruent, that implies, so I use my symbol, implies AB is equal to, well, what angle is the same with AB? Here I have this angle here. So the same line that that line angle is attached to is the line CD. So I can say that that line is the same, that they're equal. Equally, I can also have a look here and see, well, what about my other lines? <coughs> so I have... Again, here I have the red dot, uh, so that's on the line BC, and BC is equal to, well, what other line goes uh, with the red dot, and that's AD. So that's those two sides are equal because we have congruent triangles. So that's one thing. Um, <coughs> and then lastly, what else were we to show? We were to show the corresponding angles were equal. Well, here we have, <coughs> or the opposite angles were equal, sorry. So, well, what do we have here? This angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equal to that angle. And, well, if all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, then this angle has to correspond to that angle. And so that's the first bit anyway that I had up here angle ABC, which is this one, and angle ADC, which is this one here. So that's the first bit I can write again. I can say, so that also implies 
angle <coughs> ABC is equal to angle ADC. So that's one part. And the other part then is because of corresponding angles as well, I can say that angle BAD, so this angle here, the bigger angle in fact, angle B A D this whole thing. Well why are they the why is that angle equal to this angle here? Well here I have the purple and red and here I have purple and red. So they're clearly equal to each other. And so here I can say comma angle B A D is equal to angle B C D. Just moving that across a little bit first. And fixing that up. So angle B, C, D. And again, just very important to put in the reasons for both of those. Uh, and that's corresponding angles, uh, lastly. And so that's us finished. A bit of a longer proof there, but we can write in our QED here. And again, we can put a red box around it all. Okay, so we are finished that proof. Okay, so pause the video here and make sure that um, you get each of those statements written down and just go back over. The big thing here again is the alternate angles. We've used it now in nearly all our proofs so far following the Z shape. Then here, so this time, just to remember with a parallelogram, you want the diagonal because you want to show that you have two congruent triangles, that you have an angle in common here a side in common, which was this one here, and that you have, again, another uh, angle in common here, okay? And so that's what we've proven here. So we, by showing that then, then we know that, well, the corresponding sides in a uh, congruent triangle are equal. Also, the corresponding angles are equal. And so we have shown exactly what we were asked, which was to prove that opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram and also that opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. So this angle is equal to this one and this angle here, the bigger one, is equal to this one. And that's exactly what we've shown. Okay, so pause the video and make sure you get this written down.